Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can install MyBB on your own hosting. All right. So first what you want to do is go to MyBB.com, right, and press download now. All right. And whatever the latest version is, um, you would want, you would, you'd want to download that one. Right. And basically you can just save it right and it's saved and it, it doesn't matter what version it is because generally um, you know they're all the same way to um, you know install and get it set up all right so now since we have it downloaded the next thing you want to do is go to your hosting website so I'm using a website uh, called infinityfree.net and they offer a um, a free hosting um, service also and you know you guys can use that as well just for you know setting up and you know if it does good you guys can transfer it over to a paid hosting all right so i already have one account here um but i'll create a new account right and let's call that um f and h b b all right, and here I can select epz.com, or if you have your own domain, you can use your own domain, right? Um, but you know, I don't have my own domain for this, right? And just select that and create an account. All right, now we can go back to the client area and basically see this is our site. Um, so you you probably have to wait a little while for it to set up. So you can see the site is not working right now, but um, you know give it a few minutes and the site should be up. So, all right, guys. So now you can see that um, it is set up, right? It it only takes a few minutes. All right. So next, what we want to do is open up. Um, well, first we want to go to um, FileZilla. Right, um, it's filezilla-project.org, and you want to download and install the FileZilla client. All right, I already have it, so I'm not going to do it. It's a really simple installation. During the installation, it does ask whether you want to install Avast or not. You know, just uncheck that. That's really unnecessary. But um, basically, download that. Right, because we're going to need that to FTP onto onto our site to transfer the MyBB files. All right, so we want to go to control panel. Okay, um, I approve, the panel will now load. Okay, that's kind of weird that it asked me that, but um, okay, so one way to transfer files is through the file manager, right? Um, oh yeah, so before we get into that, let's just look at our website. All right, so um, it's still like it's still blank, but um, it does say it is active, All right? So let's look at the file manager, All right? HT Docs. All right, and basically we want to select all this and delete it. All right, because these files we do not need, but um, you know we're not going to do that over here. We're going to use our FileZilla client right to we're going to ftp into that and then you know do file transfers through that so this is the filezilla client and basically all the information you're going to need is right here on the right side all right so now let's basically get that so ftp username is that um, the host is that port is 21 I think you can leave it blank also um, you know it doesn't really matter and then the password is that so let's do quick connect um, you know let's just save the password always trust all right so now basically this is um, our folder that we just seen a minute ago in our um, you know the file manager all right so now let's go to HT Docs and we see these two files so over here we can delete them Right, and what you want to do is basically open your MyBB um, zip file, right? And you see this upload, they have an upload and documentation. So we want to go to upload, select all, right? And basically, we just want to select all this and drag it over here. Okay, so you know, it should take like 
couple minutes maybe N not even it should be less than a minute right um you know these files are pretty small i think the total fi file size for this zip file is like two point something megabytes i think I'm not even sure 2.1 megabytes so yeah it's pretty small right so um okay yeah it should uh, it probably will take a little while since there are like a good number of files right so i'm going to just pause it and then i'll continue once um it is complete all right guys so it is complete the file transfer has been completed all right so if you do get a message in the middle saying that you know a uh, file already exists do you want to overwrite just press overwrite that's not a big issue um so yeah um you can just do that so you know it took a couple minutes to transfer all right so now once we have transferred it what we want to do next is go to our control panel okay we are going to have to set up a database okay so um so well, before we set up the database, let's go to the website and see if anything has changed on that. Okay. Um, so something is loading. All right, guys, so this is the site, and you can see that this is the installation wizard for my BB. All right, so to get this, you can basically just go to your site, right, and then it will be there. All right, so, you know, all right, I'll uncheck this because I usually don't, uh, you know, want to send any information about my site to them. You know, obviously read this, you know, next. So these are the requirement checks, right? Um, you know, if anything fails, you know, you do might you might want to change your hosting, right? And if because all these are mostly uh, revolving around the hosting options, right? So if anyone fails, you either contact them or you might just want to change your hosting. All right. So next, so this is the database configuration. We do not have any database currently, right? So we have to create one. So first, all right. So we go back to cPanel right and we want to go to mysql databases okay and we want to enter a new database okay um so one thing well before we do that um one thing you guys should know is that i did use my other site for the fnh blog epz.com rather than the um fnh um bb.epz.com simply because I was getting some issues on the BB site I I had to contact them and it's just taking way too long so I will use the this um, the FNH blog site that's already up and running okay so yeah we want to go to MySQL databases right um, I have one database already created but um, you know I won't use that so I'll create a new database all right and is basically this is the database and we want to enter so okay wait um, I think I accidentally closed that page so we want to go to our site uh, uncheck next 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 alright so database configuration so here we can choose which database engine it is so let's go to um, and, and then other information like the username password and host name so the host name let's see what that is so the host name is basically this right my username is this and whatever your cpanel password is you should find it here right that's my password and my database name is this okay all right and so the database engine like if it doesn't specifically say what the engine is it's most likely it, it doesn't really matter what it is right um my bb or my bb improved should work so you know you can go to the php admin and basically i believe somewhere in there it should say right um but if it doesn't um it's fine you can just you know have it checked whatever the default is so um, you can see table creating. All tables have been created. Uh, 
press next to populate down, table population. So this is just going to insert some, uh, you know, default data into the uh, database. So, you know, um, so, okay, let's just name it F and H B B. That's the um, URL and the website name is also FNHBB cookie pad. You can leave this to whatever it is. Uh, contact email, leave that also. Um, security settings, um, ACP pin, I'm not going to set any of that. So, uh, you know, you want to um, create an admin account, um, you know. Obviously, you would want something secure. Mine is not secure at all. All right, so now it says it's been successfully installed and configured, right? Um, you can proceed to your new copy of MyBB. This is basically the site you can see on top, uh, fnhblog.epz.com um, slash index, right? Or uh, if not that, you can go to the, um, let's go back. You can go to the admin control, right, which, um, Uh, um, you know whatever password you set and this is the page for the admin control basically you know changing up the themes you know any different configurations uh, um, you know the boards uh, basically all your uh, my BB edits will be over here on the back end all right so you know it's really simple to do this you know um, it just takes a couple minutes not really difficult you know make sure you have all you need is you know a free hosting or a paid hosting um, a file transfer like filezilla where you can ftp through you know and basically you know um, a database which is included in most hostings right so yeah um, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments or if you guys would want to learn you know um, how to host a different type of site, you know, maybe PHBBB or, you know, some other uh, BBs, you know, bulletin boards or, you know, any, basically any other site, like for example, WordPress or anything, um, you know, leave it in the comments below, uh, you know, I'd love to get back to you guys and help you out. Um, so yeah, if you liked the video, make sure to like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.